Hey everybody, it's John here from vidgamiac.com. Here we are today, back in Halo CE, and I'm going to be showing you an alternative method to grab the bandana skull. As you probably know, there are two main ways to grab this, in single player at least. One is to use a grenade jump, the second is to use a rocket jump. But this is the third way, I call this the, the uh, Warthog method. So as you know, you can grab the bandana in the base where you turn off the security panels. So what you want to do is you want to grab an overshield and then hop down the cliff. Or you can walk down if you have the time, but uh, grab an overshield, it will help out a bunch. And you want to look for a Warthog. You might have left one in the trees area because you need to hop off of it and proceed on foot. But you can actually take the Warthog all the way to the base. And that's going to take some finagling with the camera and the left stick. So the hard, first hard part is trying to get it past this tree. You're going to have to go in on the left side. Once again, try to wiggle the stick and you should be able to get it through. And then be very careful to navigate through these rocks and trees and get up, it up this hill. Um, and the Warhawk method is basically we're going to use this thing as a stepping stone to make getting a uh, grenade jump much easier. I haven't gotten this method down exactly. I just stuck with the uh, rocket jump. Uh, after uh, several hours of uh, patience, but uh, this is an alternate method for any of you who are struggling with doing explosive jumps because it's not the easiest thing to do, especially if you aren't familiar with uh, Halo. And uh, yeah, so anyways, my best advice is to get good at grenade jumps and rocket jumps because they do help out with speed runs. There's an achievement for getting the um, librarian level done in like half an hour and there's an, yeah, another achievement to beat another level in like 21 minutes or something and uh, stuff like that um, really take advantage of explosive jumps um, but uh, this is just to get a skull so you can take your uh, time if you need an overshield there will be one um, in the uh, middle area right there by the terminal um, actually there are two um, there are two more on top of the cliff we jumped off of but obviously you need one to get down the cliff uh, unless you walk down, but uh, I don't have that kind of patience. Uh, anyways, we're back at the base. Um, this is the same base you uh, turn off the security. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you know what base I'm talking about heck, because you're watching this, so you can try to figure out how to get a bandana skull. And you want to drive this thing. Here is another tough turn, uh, and then you have to get down here. And now you need to make another sharp turn this is another rather tricky part it is getting the warthog over these barriers uh, my best advice is to go on this one that's knocked on its side and then just try to get one wheel on top of it and just once again finagle the right stick over it's really tricky but um, with a lot of jerking around with the stick you can uh, get it through so you have this area with some uh, narrow doorways right here and once again just a lot of uh, tough turns and just trying to uh, wiggle the camera and get the warthog through here and if you are absolutely struggling to do this on single player there are a ton of two controller and two player tricks like to uh, jump out the window with a crouch jump and like use respawning but uh, you know I'm sure you're like me and don't have any friends and have to resort to uh, single player methods to grab this very elusive skull. But this skull is worth it because you get infinite ammo, which will help out a bunch with legendary. It will help out with speedruns because you can just spam grenades. And after all, grenades are like nuclear bombs in this game. Am I right? Anyways, uh, this is the uh, place where you turn off the security panel. Trying to get the Warthog through that door is actually quite a pain. And this is another part, trying to back up the Warthog, you want to go into the area to the right of the security panel and you want to leave the uh, back of the Warthog like that. And then you're going to backtrack, go outside, the reason we're doing this is so we can get a checkpoint because this is mess, uh, you can mess this up. Grab the overshield because you need an overshield to survive the grenade jump and then head back to the Warthog and you want to hop on top of it and uh, make sure the uh, gunner leaves and you want to just do a grenade jump so you want to crouch plant a grenade down and try to time the jump I fail here but it is possible to do this and that's all there is for now